What's up you guys? Chad Guthrie the Dream Poet here coming to you all with another fun-filled day here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Again, I'm followed by my friend Bruce Hello. and my friend Zach. Anyway, you guys, this vlog today will be a rather serious one. A rather sad one, a rather tragic one. You see, it was on August 29th, 2005, that this levee right here along Canal Street gave in, thus causing 20, 30 feet of water to spew into this nearby neighborhood. As a result of this, the water level in this area today is high as 30 feet, covering this building in front of us and this building right here. Now as I'm walking down the hill, this breach, or this levee breach, I should say, killed many people. Killed many animals, killed many pets. Some people were even stranded on their roofs, waiting for rescuers to come in and help them. Some were exhausted beneath the hot Louisiana sun. Now, for a while, this street lay quiet. As reparations were made, buildings were being rebuilt, infrastructure was being recreated, and the dam levee was re rebuilt. Well, there was a museum that was created to memorialize what happened here along Canal Street. And this, my friends, my fans, my followers, is the Flooded House Museum. You see, after the flood or the canal flood wall gave in along uh, this avenue here, well, they took one of the houses that was a victim of Hurricane Katrina and they turned it into a museum. However, something is very special about this museum. While you all might see a perfectly fine building behind us, let me show you what is so special about this museum. You see, if you all can tell, it has been kept the same since this house was flooded. Back in 2005 you see as my gopro is going down the camera because we're having a troubling time seeing this this is the insides of the museum just as hurricane katrina left it let's see if we can have any luck no not so much luck there but we can go through this fencing right here and some of these windows have been kept the same since Katrina again even after about 17 years people are still recovering from this hurricane so y'all can see that house right there but anyway as we were walking you can all see that they have really kept a good job of memorializing what happened here along this avenue. And again, see if y'all can see that. There we go. That is what it looks like on the inside. Just horrible devastation of what once was. And as you all can see, these windows have been preserved through a very pretty decent plexiglass right there. Now let's check out and see what more is to this house. Again, looks like a little memento. Looks like some more broken glass there at the top. And there we go. 
again that is from a bygone era you gotta think it's been 20 something years 22 years since hurricane katrina passed and this community is still struggling with it What are you doing? Nothing. He's doing nothing, everyone. And now he is running. But really, you guys, that just kind of gives you an idea of how large this levee is. Very large. And to give you all an idea, Zach stands about 5'7. I'm about 5'9. That wall stands there at least a good seven feet tall. Did you get your workout in, Zach? Yeah. That's a very steep hill. It's a very steep hill. But you guys, here at the museum, there is also a really cool garden as well, which tells a little more history about this house. Now, they say when this levee broke, it was at 9.30 a.m. And it was the first ever mandatory evacuation ahead of a hurricane named Katrina. And you guys, these photos right here, is what the house will look like on the inside. Instead of just like having one flat. All right, you guys. We are here at the garden. Yes, this is this is quite beautiful. I find this very interesting that they do have a pretty nice garden set up. A lot of very interesting artwork too. Honestly, I kind of wonder kind of wonder what kind of plants are here at the garden. For example, look at this artwork right here. Wait, Zach, what are you doing? Looks like he is lost in the ebb and flow of this beautiful piece of art. Or no, he's, he's just walking back. And from what I'm reading, this, uh, this piece of artwork was commissioned by the New Orleans Arts Council. Apparently it's uh, for the Gentilly Resilience District. Huh. And the name of this art piece is Unity. It's beautiful. And this are just a group of um, a group of markers, a group of uh, boards that tell what happened. For example, there's one of the houses right there. And again, there's the flood control system for the entirety of New Orleans but again this explains what all happened you see the city of New Orleans after all this took place is they left it to the Army Corps of Engineers and the blame of that I don't think they realized that this canal could not handle that much water or that much magnitude and if you're curious about what damage was along St. Bernard Parish, this is an example. There's a car that's overturned on a house along with another car. Here is uh, just where there's just been mud and silt and damage left over from the Mississippi Gulf. I mean, this is when new legislation was made to really try and fix what was going or what happened this huge tragedy that just completely utterly engulfed an entire city and that is why we came out here today to pay our respects to check out this museum which is so very interesting and they even have a little free library i've seen quite a few of these around very interesting very interesting indeed but anyway, you guys, this is going to be my vlog. 
remember, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Don't forget to send a like. It always means a lot. So without further ado, vlog over.